All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is um, it's going to be a quick one, but um, a lot of these uh, celebrities, you know, is basically mad with the most high and i'm gonna say more and more of you people you israelites you so-called negroes latinos native and seminole indians all right west indians so-called haitians all right a lot of you you two-thirds all right you're gonna be mad with the heavenly father because you the most let me say because the most high have given you the spirit of slumber Eyes that ye eyes that ye shall now see, and ears that ye shall now hear. All right, and yet, and and more and more of these celebrities gonna curse out the Most High because they don't have understanding. All right. Um, you got Willie D. Right here, which is just as well as uh Arius Spears. His brothers probably saw that video. I think a few brothers did responses to it. You know, they basically don't understand. You know why uh god okay do what he do which is the name of the heavenly father is yahweh okay god is just a title allah just means power is a hebrew word but the name of the lord is yahweh and his son's name is yahweh shai all right who the world ig ignorantly calls jesus christ and um i'm gonna let you hit his video because um i don't know if brother saw this this one with willie d you know, if you did, you know, you you know, you've seen it already. But um, man, it's a lot of celebrities that that are angry with the Most High because they don't understand what the Lord do. All right, so I'm gonna play the video. Israelites, these celebrities. Now you heard what he said. You know he got a question for God. Why Kobe? I th I thought, you know, Jake will already know that everybody has their day. You know, isn't that a saying? You know, everybody has their day. You don't know what day you're gonna go out. You know, why couldn't Kobe, okay, have his day? You know, and his day was that he was gonna die in a plane crash. That was ordained by the heavenly Father. Obviously, because if he's dead, the scriptures tell you that the most high belong the issue of death. OK, so nobody dies or being born without the without it being sanctified by the heavenly father. OK, so, you know, I just want to uh, play that and um, real quick. And his 13-year-old daughter, who had her whole future ahead of her, are gone. Make this make sense. The, all the people that I constantly hear go, God has a plan for everybody. What's the plan for this? There's a reason for everything. What's the reason for this? What's the plan? How does this fold into the plan that we mysteriously will never know about because everybody that is religious or believes in God will say mysteriously we'll never know, but somehow there's a plan that we'll never know about. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 8 and 36. It says, But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. 
all right and a lot of these celebrities they they mad with the most high because they don't understand matter of fact kobe okay kobe was a part of a brotherhood just like just the like the rest of them the men okay that go to the nba and that get a court that get a part of that organization they have a, a secret society brotherhood and they do things kobe was not innocent okay also you know you know we believe also that you know kobe should have known that he was an israelite because this thing of knowing that you're an israelite you 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 celebrities like boosie okay that want to stick his middle finger up to the most high and tell the most high he'll eat whatever he want you know you're going to realize that us you know men that's out here in these streets teaching this word you know you despise this truth and you look at us like we don't have nothing good to say or you or you think that what we're saying is not is not a uh, valid you know it's not credible because we in um you know sackcloth and dirty garments and we on the street and we curse out the black woman and you know because you never really the most high have you blinded you know he he won't let you have ears to hear because obviously you know you're not of the lord's elect and what you people don't realize and i'm gonna say you israelites you don't realize that you are the israelites and the chosen of the most high there's reasons why the lord does things all right and he don't have to he don't have to explain them to your nigga ass <laughs> all right you don't have to explain them to you <laughs> you're gonna realize you questioning the most high the way you are with that attitude you're gonna realize that the Lord is gonna hurt you, man. You know, the Heavenly Father is a pure, is a uh, is a uh, pure power. Okay, He's the one that created us, thought us into existence. He don't have to answer, you know, to a nigga, all right. And especially someone that's not gonna honor and serve and praise Him, you know. So I'm gonna read this again. It says, "But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul." So when you sin, you you're going against the Heavenly Father. All right. This is why we're in that time where the Lord, um, the scriptures say, uh, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. OK, because we're in that time where, you know, you're supposed to come back to the Lord. You know, we're in the time of repentance. You know, you're supposed to be taking heed, you know, being humble, taking heed, man. All right. Knowing the Lord's name, knowing what's right or wrong, because the way that you was taught. You know, no matter how much money you got, that don't make you more wiser than um, the uh, uh, that don't make you more wiser just because you have a lot of money and because you have fame and you have a name. All right. Mm. You have fame and you have a name. And, you know, what you say, a lot of people listen up because you, you consider it basically an idol, you know. But anyway, back to the scripture it says, but he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul. All right. All they that hate me love death. And these guys, as you saw, uh, Arian Spears and Willie D and Little Boosie, you know, and now you have this 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 guy, this cat, this YouTuber, uh DDG. Uh saw the brother Behold I Come Quickly. GMS Behold I Come Quickly, brothers out there in LA. He came up and, you know, kind of scoffed the camp, you know, being a young dumbass nigga, you know. And um, you check that guy out, you know, he's just a young, dumb nigga, you know. And I got to say it just like that because most of these kids today, they, they ignorant is all hell. And they want to stay in a state of ignorance, you know, because they feel like that's the way. That's the way, you know, being cool. You know, that's the way of being tough, you know. Most high is going to destroy you people, man. Um, Let me get another scripture because, you know, a lot of you jakes, you go to these churches and you believe, you believe that, you know, God loves, God loves, you know, <laughs> God don't always love, God hates as well, okay, but anyway, um, I want to go to Romans, okay, Romans 11 and 7, because that's, because this is the point, this, and this, uh, this is all because you don't read the Bible, and you don't have the understanding. This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. All right. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. Willie D, Aryan Spirits, Little Boosie. All right. All of these celebrities, they, they haven't uh, obtained what they seek for. And that's what? The truth. You haven't obtained what, what, what you were seeking for. 
okay? You know, you can hear it in their uh, speech while they're questioning God and the things that he do and the people he, he take out of the world, all right? It was the Heavenly Father that brought Kobe into this world. It was the Heavenly Father that gave Kobe that gift to be who he is. Isn't it only right that the Heavenly Father take him out when he want him out of the world? You see? Why question the Heavenly Father? And it's funny because, you know, that's a comedian, you know, area of spirits, and he write down a lot of things. You would think that their mind would be open to these uh small, well, I'm going to say small things. This is small, you know, to have understanding. Did not the Heavenly Father give Kobe Bryant that talent? Did not the Heavenly Father create Kobe Bryant? So could not the Heavenly Father take Kobe Bryant out of the world? And his daughter. All right, you forget you're, uh, you're underestimating the power of the heavenly Father, and you don't fear. So it says, "What then have uh, Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Because who is the elect? All right, first off, the elect is the Israelites. Okay, but there's an election within the election. There's only going to be a few Israelites that's going to actually be delivered this time." Okay, not uh, unlike last time when we was in Egypt, when the Lord delivered all of Israel. This time the Lord is only delivering uh, a, a small remnant, okay, of his people. And the two thirds, the rest of them, they're going to die, man. And you're going to have to be reborn, man. You know, but either way, by through the elect of the elect that the Lord have chosen and will give salvation to. That means that all Israel will be saved, man, because in the kingdom, we're going to rule on this earth. OK, so it says, verse eight, according as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they, they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. And that's why more and more celebrities are, vo are, are coming out vocal, you know, boldly putting it on camera and challenging the most high because why they don't really believe in the, the most high. You know, and I believe Arian Spirit said he was like borderline atheist now. All right. It says verse nine. And David say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Because in all reality, the same ones that hated the Lord in the ancient times. Damn. The same Lord, I mean, the same people, the same Israelites that hated the Lord back then is going to hate the Lord today. All right. So, you know. I ain't gonna uh, keep going on and on, but you know, you got there. It is, man. There it is. I, I was just a fan. He got a question for God too. Why take Kobe and not Charles Barkley? And we know Charles Barkley is an ass. Okay, he's a, a, a house nigga, you know, that follows, um, you know, everything that Edom, Edom do, you know. You know, he managed his life and structure and his thoughts and ideology around Edom. So, you know, I get the, I get the joke. But it's not a joking manner, man. Like, you don't, you Israelites don't see that you're falling down more of the abyss, you know, toward the Lord's, uh, you're falling down more into the abyss, the pit and the abyss of your filthiness, man. And the most high, it just gives more reason why the Lord has indignation and why he's going to destroy you Israelites through Jacob's trouble, man. All right. And that's what, that's what we're approaching. This is why all the pestilences, yeah. all right. Um, you know, uh, the diseases, um, uh, uh, you know, celebrities dying, earthquakes, animals at a large number of dying, you know, fires, Whew, you know, it's so much is going on and these prophecies are taking its place because we're approaching Jacob's trouble. What's about to happen? You really going to hate the most high 
when he start destroying uh, uh, Jake mm -hmm. in large numbers, man, or people in general, you know. So, you know, so I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, repent for you ones that are sincere in the Lord. Take heed, get understanding while you can. Scripture says, seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, you suppose the, uh, since um, we, um, you know, lost this knowledge and understanding, we supposed to be what? Seeking the Lord 10 times more, you know, because there's no one going to be able to save you. When they start forcing this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, when they start forcing these vaccines to basically kill you, when they open up these concentration camps, when it gets more anarchy outside and pro and people are acting out, you know, when they bring these military into the into the land and boots on the ground, no one is going to be able to save you, except for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. Matter of fact, before I go, before I go, I want to read one more scripture. This is, um, this is, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 65 and 11. It says, um, but ye that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare ta a table for that troop. And that furnished the drink offering unto that number. And this is talking to the two thirds. All right. You forsake the Lord. Right here in your liberty, you don't you forsake the Lord. You know how you forsake the Lord? Because you forsake you forsake the Lord's messages. All right. You know, here we are, your people out here giving you the truth, but nobody's listening. None of you guys are listening. The elect is listening, of course. But two thirds, you're not listening. <laughs> you're not listening. You just get offended quick. Get emotional, you know. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing. You ain't shit. You know? Well, hey. But ye that forsake the Lord, Yahweh, that forget my holy mountain. What is the holy mountain? Knowing that um you're an Israelite, knowing the Lord's ways, man. Okay? Coming back into the Lord. Because it's truly the Heavenly Father that governs this world, not Esau. Just because he's ruling over us as men, he's not the one that's controlling this world. It's the heavenly father and his son. So it says that prepare table for that troop. Who's that troop? Esau. Okay. When he come in like a flood. And that furnished the drink offering unto that number. Which is two thirds. Therefore will I number you to the sword. And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called ye did not answer. When I spec ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes. And did choose that wherein I delighted not. And most of these celebrities, they choose not to follow the Lord because they have riches, because they have fame, because they have pride. All right. So a lot of you celebrities going to get put to death. I'll be afraid to be a celebrity today. You know, one of these celebrities that in Hollywood and in the industry, because a lot of you going to get put to death. The scriptures do talk about the stars from heaven shall fall, man. So a lot of these celebrities are going to get put to death, man. By the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Then what you going to do? So anyway, it says, therefore, will I number you to the sword? So the Lord is saying he's going to number you to uh, to be destroyed and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. There's nothing you can do. It says, because when I called, you did not answer. How did the Lord call? He called by his prophets, by his men, you know, speaking his truth. There's no excuse, man. As Yahweh Shah said, there is no cloak for your sins, man. There is no excuse. There are plenty of videos and plenty of uh, celebrities that came across brothers, you know, and knowing that we're out there teaching and all you got to do is listen, you know, listen. All right. And take heed, you know, do your own research. It says, when I spec, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes. And you chose to do evil like Lil Boosie on camera, telling the world, telling his followers, his his idol worship. His uh, worshippers, because he's an idol. All of you celebrities are idols. Telling your worshippers that you 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 say f the Most High if he told you not to eat certain foods. You out of your mind. And that man already has an illness, man. Like how much he out of all people he should be humble. He went through the trenches, <laughs> you know. But obviously that money, that fame, that shit, y'all niggas, that shit going to their head, man. 
Being rich is a motherfucker, all right? It's the worst thing to be in 2020. Anyway, it says, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So you're going to be ashamed. All right. A lot of you guys chasing that moolah and not realizing that this is the wrong time to be in that spirit. Why you have this liberty? You know, the Lord is changing powers, man. OK, what's wicked is going out the window. What's righteous is coming through the door. Let me say that again. What's wicked is getting thrown out the window and what's righteous is walking through the door. OK. And you don't see it because there's so much wickedness going on that, you know, it seems like righteousness, is, it, it ain't winning. And then you don't have the answers uh, 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 from the Lord to understand what's going on. You know, it's, it's trained, it's programmed to you to hate the Lord. OK, by your daddy Esau. And the way he, he bring this upbringing, man, or this society and how you supposed to live and your mentality, man. You know, he did a number on on, on us jakes, man. All right. And I'm going to say on the two thirds. So it says, um, uh, you know, he says, behold, my servant shall drink and ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So a lot of you going to be ashamed and the two thirds are going to be ashamed as the scriptures say. The scriptures say some shall wake up to everlasting life. Some shall wake up to uh uh, and being shamed, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, I think that's Daniel's 12. Anyway, verse 14 Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, all right, which is the mind, not the muscle in your chest. The heart means mind, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Because what the Lord is going to do is unimaginable. You know, you're going to hate, you're going to think the Lord is evil when he start taking out Jake, start taking out Edom. And these other nations in the fashion that he do. You're going to be emotional. And you're going to hate the Lord even more, man. All right? Because the Lord indignation rests upon this place. He has righteous anger. Okay? And there one of us could question what the Lord would do. You know? As uh, Shar in the camp say, your arms are too small to box with God. You either bow down or get rolled over. And that's the way the Lord's coming, man. So, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shar. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and call Halal La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, which is just Hebrew means uh, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Yahweh being a father, Yahweh Shah being a son. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and who rule well. All right, double honors, and I'm going to say salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.